Looks like a good weekend to grab a few friends and head over to the Huron River. Indeed it does. Lovely to see Veronica out there. From canoeing to sightseeing, there's so much to enjoy. Or simply just stand at the edge and take it all in. You are doing a fantastic job, Veronica. Hey, thanks, Liz. Yeah, every time we come out on the water, I have to give you props, Liz, because you're always the good one, and then Charlie always tries to kind of scare us and make I make sure he tries to get me to tip over. We're not tipping over today, Charlie. We're taking everything in right now. Melina, I know you take everything in when you're out here, too. So you're also a scientist in addition to giving us all of the safety <laughs> tips. We can learn a lot from the Huron River. What is What do you want folks to take away? Yeah, well, this is a, a scientific tool in our backyard, and I think we should take more, um, give that more value. At HRWC, the Huron River Watershed Council, we do a lot of streamside ed educations, um, activities where we take stool, school students out and we teach them all sorts of things. We teach them how to um, measure water quality, different water quality measures. Uh, we teach them how to collect bugs and learn about all the aquatic insect communities that are on the river. You can also just look up and see all the different kinds of plants that are around us. We have, you know, swamp ecosystems, floodplain forests, all sorts of ecosystems to learn about. I can imagine it's really important having this here, obviously the place to kayak and canoe and come enjoy, but yeah. also using it as an educational tool as well. I can imagine it's best for kids and adults to really get out here to take in the full experience. Exactly. Yeah, it's wonderful them, for them to see that they have this outdoor classroom that's in their backyard that they can really dig into and, and eventually maybe become stewards of the river. Absolutely. When you talk about being stewards of the river, one thing that you all really push is taking great care of the river as well. Yeah, exactly. We are out here. We're enjoying this lovely view today, and we want to keep it as lovely for the people that are experiencing the river you know, for in the future and also for the animals and, and insects that live in and around the river, right? So that means keeping your trash, you know, if you have wrappers and things that you're taking on the water, keep them, bring them to shore, uh, make sure to treat the water with respect, basically. Absolutely. Yeah. Do you all ever host cleanups or anything where folks can come on out and kind of clean up the river as well? We do, yeah. The Huron River Watershed Council partners with a lot of different groups that come out and do riverside cleanups or even get in the kayak and, and pick trash up from there. Yeah. Awesome. You know, we have quite the crew with, uh, with us here this morning. We have Colleen, we have Pam, we have the Hevner Kids Plus Friends, we have Bruce Hevner as well. Photographer Brett's also jumping in a canoe and kayak as well. What does it mean to you when you can see people from all walks of life and all ages really coming together to enjoy the river. I think that's what nature does and, and water specifically is such a fun activity and is, is so accessible, especially the Huron River. We have a lot of uh, canoe rental places, which means you don't ha even have to own your own canoe. You can just, you know, hop up here to Hebner's or to any other canoe rentals and get in the river. And it's such a bonding experience. I, yeah, I see people of, of all backgrounds and all ages and all canoeing abilities out here. Awesome. I know that you are scientists, so you already know a lot about the water and the ecosystem, but mm -hmm. is there something that this river has taught you that stood out to you over the years? Uh, I think the, the geologic history of the Huron is really cool. We are in an area that used to be gl covered with glaciers many thousands of years ago. Yeah, and you can see that in how it forms like the lakes and the chain of lakes region uh, and how the soil is, is the topography of this area is all was all completely transformed by glaciers. And I think that's, it's really cool once you have that knowledge. Yeah, we didn't it. know that. I don't know yeah. if anybody here knew that. Charlie Liz, did you guys know that? I certainly did not. Yeah.